Are you looking for the classic healer feeling? Do you want a build that allows you to support your team from range? Then let me introduce you to the classic healer. The classic healer is a healing build that allows you to output some big healing numbers whilst providing buffs to your team and debuffs to the enemy. This results in a healing build that allows you to concentrate on your chosen role, healing. So what makes the classic healer? We start with Nimble Coat. Nimble Coat's unique perk, highly refreshing, reduces cooldowns by 8%. This stacks with refreshing. Therefore, with 4 refreshing at 4% each and highly refreshing at 8%, we get a total cooldown reduction of 24%. This provides the maximum cooldown reduction for our healing skills. Nimble Coat comes with refreshing and health. For the final perk, we have added Elemental Aversion. For our first weapon, we will be using a Life Staff. For the perks, we are using Refreshing Move, Saviour, and Fortifying Sacred Ground. Blessed is also an option, instead of Saviour. For our second weapon, we will be using the Void Gauntlet Artifact, Life Taker. Life Taker's unique perk, Negative Energy, causes our ranged attacks to inflict Disintegrate for 8 seconds and applies to both weapons. Disintegrate inflicts 5% damage per second and 10% rend and can be stacked up to 3 times. This means this effect will apply when we are attacking with our life staff, allowing us to do damage over time and up to 30% rend. Life Taker comes with Keen, Life Stealing and Refreshing Move. For the final perk, we have added Putrefying Scream. Putrefying Scream causes Petrifying Scream to inflict disease on hit, reducing the target's incoming and outgoing healing. This is especially useful on mutations with healing effects such as nature mutations and expeditions with healers such as Imperium Forge. For our armor, we are in a light equip load to maximize healing output. For our helm, we are using health, refreshing and enchanted ward. For our gloves, we are using enchanted ward, refreshing and thrust conditioning. For our legs, we are using Enchanted Ward, Refreshing, and Thrust Conditioning. And for our boots, we are using Health, Refreshing, and Enchanted Ward. This actually puts us over the Refreshing cap of 4, so there is room to change one of the Refreshing perks to something else. For our Amulet, we are using Health, and an Element Protection perk that matches the element of the mutation we are doing. For the Ring, we are using Hearty, Sacred and Healing Breeze. This helps boost our healing output with Healing Breeze providing an additional heal. For the earring, we are using Healthy Toast, Refreshing Toast, and Nimble. For the attributes, we are using 455 Focus and 150 Con. As this build is focused on healing and playing with the life staff in hand, we put the majority of our points into focus. This provides excellent healing output and increases the damage of our life staff attacks. 150 con provides us with a healthy health pool and provides the attribute threshold bonus of plus 10% to max health from the 100 con threshold bonus. For our skills, on the life staff we are using Beacon, Sacred Ground and Splash of Light. Beacon and Sacred Ground provide an excellent AoE heal. As a majority of DPS play melee, AoE healing helps heal all of them at once. Splash of Light provides a more powerful instant heal and is useful for healing ranged DPS or when the team is spread out. For the Void Gauntlet, we are using Petrifying Scream, Oblivion and Baleful Terror. Petrifying Scream provides us with CC, staggering and rooting enemies. It grants Fortify, and thanks to the perk we have added to Life Taker, inflicts disease. 
Oblivion provides damage over time, empower, weaken, and stamina regen. Baleful Tether provides weaken, empower, mana regen, and a self heal. The main combo will be to use Sacred Ground and Beacon on the tank, switch to the Void Gauntlet and use Oblivion, Scream, and Tether, and then switch to the Life Staff and Night Attack from a distance. Let's now look at some of the pros and cons of the build. Starting off with the pros. High healing output. Due to the high attributes in focus and high cooldown reduction, this build has a very high healing output. Safe from melee. As this build is designed to be played from ranged, we are safe from most melee damage. Feels like a healer. While some other healing builds put more emphasis on doing damage, this build is focused on healing. This allows the build to feel more like a typical healer class. Now let's take a look at some of the cons of the build. Mana issues. This build can suffer from mana issues, so frequent mana pot usage is normally needed. Certain mutation effects, such as Mage Hunter, also amplify this issue. Damage Whilst this build does output a respectful amount of damage from light attacks due to the high focus and life taker unique perk, the damage output is still lower than a more damage focused build. That's it for the video, if you have any questions about the build, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.